In this video, we'll be testing out the King Bowen K7 scan tool. And this is the very first time I have tried one of their scan tools. And I'm really going to go ahead and put this to the test. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we got the K7 here from King Bolin and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's included in the box. We're gonna try it on a couple of different vehicles and then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give this a random fixed tool grade so you guys can decide for yourself. Let's see what's included really quick before we jump in the vehicle. In the box, you're gonna get this password letter. This is very important as this has the activation code you need and this does come with three years of updates. Let me power up the unit. Owner's manual, the Bluetooth VCI, which is going to communicate between the vehicle and the scan tool. Three different power tips and a USB-C cable that plugs into the bottom right here. Let me activate the unit now. Typed in my internet password and it connected with the unit activated. I can go ahead and perform all the updates. I'm going to go and update at all and this is the speed so it's definitely fast while the unit is updated let's take a look at the rest of the device here on the side it's got some hardware and on the back we have a camera here and it also looks like we have an optional expansion port and the expansion port is used for adding these modules such as battery testers printers video scopes and a tpms tool so far this experience has been very smooth to connect this all i need to do is find my obd2 port which is normally on the driver's side in the wheel well area just slide it into place and that little green light will turn on and then i need to turn my ignition on so i can see the check engine light and normally the engine should not be on and the motor should not be running and since this is bluetooth and portable, I could actually work from the comfort of my garage instead of having to sit in a hot car. One thing about the unit is that it's not completely level because of the hand grip on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down this little eraser to give you guys a better view. So let's talk about the main interface here. And if we swipe down, this is where I could turn on the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and screen record, a clip function, auto rotation, and I can actually access the camera. So let's take a picture of this pegboard here. And I can access the video camera as well. And surprisingly, this is a nice camera. It's a 13 megapixel. If I swipe left, I can go back to the previous menu. The first icon is for the store. This is where I can view what downloads have been installed. We have an OBD2 function. And this will work for any vehicle 1996 and newer. And this is not the reason to buy this scan tool. The real reason to buy this is to go and get the OE scan. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at this OB2 function here. And we'll look at live data and how many fields we get in OBD2. And then we'll look at the manufacturer side too. And the unit has automatically detected my VIN number and knows that the check engine light is off. There's zero diagnostic trouble codes. All my monitors are ready for emissions testing. I can read which monitors are ready. And let's go to live data. So OBD2 will give you more of the generic code. And it's not as useful as the OE code, which we'll take a look at in a minute. These are all the live data streams that are available on OBD2. So probably about 40 of them. And I can also enter here and read fault codes if I had some, and also clear fault codes as well, which we'll do in a little bit. We'll set the check engine light off and make sure this can actually do it. As a helpful tip, if you ever run into an issue with the OE scan and it is not clearing something, go into OBD2, this may help you. Let's do an auto search. So the unit detected the vehicle with no issues and decoded the VIN. Let's do a quick health report. And as you're running a health report or you're doing any sort of diagnostics, make sure your battery level is always above 12 volts on the vehicle. And one thing that I wish this displayed is going to be the battery level, as it does not. So I do have a few issues on the vehicle. In the body control module, I have a total of five fault codes. I have one in the ABS and one in the cabin compartment node. 
So I do have these available. I can do a report. And if I was using this at a shop, I can go ahead and share this with my customer. And besides the health report and the system scan, I can go and just select the system I want to go and focus on. So let's go to the power control module. And here I can read the data streams. And here's all the data streams that are available now. There's quite a few. And looking through this menu can be a really daunting task. So it's got a little search function here. And the search function will help you narrow down what you're looking for. So if I was looking for something related to the oxygen sensor, I can just type in O2. And anything that has to do with the oxygen sensor will be brought up. And I don't have to scroll through hundreds of different items. Actuation test. And one thing I want to note is these actuation tests are one of the other reasons you're buying the K7 is that, that these bi-directional functions allow you to send a command to the vehicle instead of just reading a code. So I'm actually back in the vehicle and let's try some of these actuation tests. Let's go to special functions. And over here we can check the, the true mileage on the computer. We have the phaser cleaning for the intake and also for the exhaust. Let's go ahead and try the intake cleaning and this is very slow. As I'm waiting for the scan to be completed, just wanted to say if you guys are enjoying this video, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button guys. It really does mean a lot to me. I do put a lot of hard work and time into these videos and I try to give you guys my honest review. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much again. Since the last one didn't work, let's try this. Okay, let's try the throttle relearn. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Hold the accelerator to the floor. I've done that check. Release the accelerator. Released. If all went well, the red light should not be on. That is good. That was successful. One thing that I really like about these bi-directional scan tools is the amount of troubleshooting you can do with, without having to rip the car apart. For example, if my door locks were not working, I don't have to go through and remove the door panel to test these. I can come down here and unlock all doors. Now all doors are unlocked. Lock all doors. Now all doors are locked. I can do the same for the windows. Any of the motors that are electronically controlled in this area, as well as ignitions, low beam, high beams. I can figure out which circuit is bad. And again, I don't need a power probe or a tester. I can figure out if it's the bulb or something to do with the car. The glass washer. I did not use the button here. The K7 was able to do this on its own. Starter solenoids, rear defrost, horns, all these could be controlled. Here are some of the other special functions available. Now that we have seen the scan function, let's go ahead and go to reset. And here's all the resets, and I'll show these. We got the air fuel reset, bleed reset. We got add blue reset, suspension reset, airbag reset, battery management or battery registration for BMWs and minis, electronic parking brake, injectors, abdometer, oil resets, seat resets, steering wheel angle resets, sunroof resets, transportation and tire and window. And just because a reset is shown does not mean it applies to your vehicle. For example, let's select tire and as I look at the menu here, Dodge is not shown, so that does not apply. However, the oil reset is available for Dodge right here. This is the oil reset. I'm not going to perform it. And we have repair info. So this is where you can launch Chrome. You can go and get a point of sale software in here. There's some videos, vehicle coverage list, updates. I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi. Again, I'm actually a little further from the house than I like to be. I will hit update and it's updating now. And this does come with three years of updates.
Under files, I can view old reports. And under settings, this is where we can come down and check the photo album or the screen recorder. And here's that pegboard video I took earlier. Now let me go ahead and turn on a check engine light and airbag light on this vehicle. So check engine light is on. Airbag light turned back off. And let's see if it is in memory. I'm going to do a simple health report. And I'm going to leave this in real time. So the speed could be gauged. And that was pretty fast. Let's go to reports. There's the issue with the check engine light. And here is the issue with the airbags. Now let's go and clear this. My ignition is on. Everything is cleared. And check engine light is off. So the more electronics you have on your vehicle, the more that the K7 can do. For example, on hybrid vehicles, you can go and turn on the electronic water pumps, all the cooling fans and cooling systems that keep these hybrid vehicles functioning without any issues. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna give the K7 a random fix tool grade so you guys can go ahead and decide for yourself. But before I do that, I do wanna thank the vendor for sending me this unit. And as always, guys, I give you guys my honest feedback. And overall, this is a good unit. At times, it was a little slow. The thing that I like about this particular unit is it's actually a clone of another device I have tested. So I know the quality is there, the interface is there, the support is there. And it is a perfect, no, it's not, guys. Sometimes it does not perform the service it's supposed to be able to do so. However, they have made it really easy to get in contact with support and you could submit a feedback to them and they'll go ahead and update it. And this does come with the three years of updates, which is really nice considering that there's other scan tool providers that are giving you one year of updates. And then you gotta pay over $100 a year to keep it going. This does not suffer from that same fate. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a random fix score of 82 out of 100. And I'll display for you guys on the screen how I judge this because it's very similar to the way I judged the clone of this. However, I gave it one point extra just because it's a little bit cheaper. And overall, I think you'll be quite pleased. For 95% of DIY home mechanics, this is gonna go ahead and do the job. And it is very simple to use and operate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there was something that I did not mention in this video, please let me know what it is so I can incorporate it into another video. I'll leave you guys special links and coupons at the end of the video here it's a clickable link as well as in the video description box down below and i'll include you guys a playlist for bi-directional scan tools thank you so much make it a great day